In this video, we're going to explore semantic versioning and how to effectively use it with Git for your software projects. Semantic versioning provides a structured way to number your software releases, making it easier to track changes and manage dependencies. Here's an example of a version number, 1.3. Let's break down what semantic versioning really means. A semantic version number typically follows the format x.y.c. The x represents the major version. This is increment when you make incompatible API changes. The y represents the minor version, which you increment when you add functionality in a backwards compatible manner. The z represents the patch version, which is increment when you make bug fixes that are also backwards compatible. To better understand semantic versioning, let's look at some examples. First, let's look at when to increment the major version. If your current version is 1.3.5 and you introduce incompatible API changes, you would increment the major version to 2.0.0. This also applies if there are breaking changes to the public API, removal of deprecated features, or major architectural changes. Next, let's consider when to increment the minor version. Again, if you're at version 1.3.5, and you add new features that are backwards compatible, you'll increment the minor version to 1.4.0. This also covers cases where functionality is deprecated, where substantial new functionality has been added, or there are new non-breaking API endpoints. Now let's examine when to increment the patch version. If your current version is 1.3.5, and you make bug fixes that are backwards compatible, you increment the patch version to 1.3.6. This also includes performance improvements, changes to private code, and small tweaks and improvements. It's worth noting that pre-release versions can be indicated with labels like alpha, beta, or release candidate. For example, 1.0.0-alpha, 1.0.0-beta.1, or 1.0.0-release candidate 1. Additionally, you can include build metadata such as a date or git commit hash, for example, 1.0.0 plus 2013, 03, 13, 14, 47, 00, or 1.0.0 plus git.5114f85. Now let's see how to implement semantic versioning with Git. First, set up your project. Initialize your project with a package.json file by running the command npm init-y. Then, set the initial version in package.json. For example, version 0.1.0. Finally, initialize your Git repository using the command git init. One crucial aspect of semantic versioning with Git is creating version tags. You can create a lightweight tag using the command git tag, followed by the version number, for example, v1.0.0. However, it's recommended to create an annotated tag. This is done using the command git tag a, followed by the version number, dash m, and a descriptive message, for example, release version 1.0.0. To share these tags with your team, you need to push them to the remote repository. You can push a specific tag using git push origin, followed by the tag name, for example, v1.0.0, or you can push all tags using git push dash dash tags. To streamline your version management, it's helpful to establish an automated workflow. Start by updating the version in the package.json file. You can use the npm version command, followed by patch, minor, or major, depending on the type of changes you've made. Next, commit the version change. This involves using the commands git add package.json and then git commit m with a message indicating the version bump, for example, bump version to 1.2.0. Finally, create a tag and push the changes. This is achieved using the commands git tag a, followed by the version number and a message, and git push dash dash tags. There are several tools available to assist with semantic versioning and automation. For automating versioning and change log generation, consider using standard version. Install it using the command npm i save dev standard version. For standardizing commit messages, you can use committizen, 
which can be installed with npm i dash dash save dash dev commit is in. For continuous integration and continuous deployment integration, Semantic Release provides fully automated version management and package publishing. It can be installed using npm i dash dash save dash dev semantic release. To enforce commit conventions, Husky can be used to implement Git hooks installed with npm i dash dash save dash dev Husky. To wrap up, let's review some best practices for semantic versioning. First, use clear commit messages. Adopt the conventional commit format to clearly indicate the type of change, such as feature, fix, or docs. Also maintain a change log. Document all notable changes for each version in a changelog.md file. Automate when possible, using tools to automate version bumping, tag creation, and release notes. Finally, start at v0.1.0 for initial development and move to v1.0.0 for the first stable release. For additional resources, check out semver.org, conventionalcommits.org, and keepachangelog.com. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.